Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this reading. So we're going to do a pick a power reading based around the Divine Masculines and what they are grateful for at this time, what they're going through, what they're feeling and what they want you to know. So I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven decks of cards for this reading today. We're going to bring in the Twin Flame Message Tarot, the Almost Tarot, the Divine Masculine Message Tarot, the Divine Mask and the Silence deck and the connection requires cards. We're also going to bring in the Divine Feminine Messages of Love and the Archangel Power Tarot cards. So really excited to do this reading for you. So thank you for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I'm going to shuffle the cards before, but you can tap into this energy and I'm going to use a car or this is like a taxi cab for pile one. We're going to use the well for pile two and the phone box for pile three. So this is like um, an English style old telephone box. And this is like a London black cab. So we've got pile one, pile two and pile three. As always, the timestamps will be in the description box below. Take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. And if you are guided to more than one pile, go where you're guided to go. There's no right, no wrong. You're in the driving seat of this reading. Let's do this then. Thank you, Angel. So what are the Divine Masculines grateful for today? What are the Divine Masculines grateful for today, please, Angels? What are the Divine Masculines grateful for? What are they grateful for? I know it's a strange one, but it will make sense when I'm doing it, okay? What are they grateful for? What are they grateful for, please, Angels? Thank you. What are the Divine Masculines grateful for? Wow, okay. Thank you, angels. What do we need to know about the masculines? What are they grateful for? That's the intention. What are the divine masculines grateful for, please, angels? What are the divine masculines grateful for? There we go. Jumping out the deck there. We're going to use the almost tarot. I'm using a few cards to see how it all links in and resonates. So that's for pile one. What's he grateful for? Thank you, angels. What's the divine masculines grateful for? What do we need to know? What are they grateful for? That's pile two. And pile three, what are the Divine Masculines grateful for? Thank you, thank you. And what are they grateful for? Pile one, please, angels. What are the Divine Masculines grateful for? That's the card there. What are the Divine Masculines grateful for? What are they grateful for? What do we need to know? That's the card. Try and jump out at the back there. Very powerful. What are the Divine Masculines grateful for? For pile one. What are they grateful for? Thank you. What are they grateful for, please, angels? Pile two and pile number three. What are they grateful for? That one as well. Powerful. Okay. What are they grateful for, please, angels? Pile one, pile two and pile number three. What are they grateful for? What are they grateful There's another card sticking out there. And the silence deck. What are they grateful for, please, angels? What are the masculines grateful for? There we go. And that one too. And what are they grateful for? Pile number three. What are they grateful for? There we go. And that one too. Okay, lovely. So three piles. So let's put them together so you can pick your pile. Pile one with the cab. We've got pile two with the wishing well. Pile number two. And we've got pile number three with the red phone box here. There we go. Pile number three. When you're ready, pick your pile. Okay, let's do this then. So we're going to start then with pile one, the cab. So again, this is a taxi cab. So could be a connection there. Maybe your masculine goes a lot of places in a cab. Or this could be a sign of travel, you know, getting off a plane. They're giving me fear and there may be fear around that. Jumping into a cab. Okay. And it could be a taxi driver. But I feel he's grateful right now for some kind of movement in his life. Now, he could have a car, okay, and he could be able to drive around. So he's grateful he can kind of find his independence. So when I'm tapping in with his energy, he's grateful for movement. He's grateful that he has freedom to go where he wants to go in a vehicle, okay. And if he doesn't drive, he may have a motorbike, he may have a you know, they're giving me mopeds or, you know, a push bike or some form of travel he has access to, even if that's getting in a cab and going somewhere. So he's grateful for that right now that he can kind of escape from his life. So 
he said, I'm sorry that I pushed you. Okay, this is from you, Divine Family. So he's grateful that you are now given him time. That's what he's grateful for today. And he's grateful that you've pushed him too in the past or energetically because it's made him realize that he needs to make a change. Especially with this cab coming up here because it's made him open up. It's triggered his spiritual awakening. So there's no kind of wrongs on this journey. Everything makes a right. So whatever you feel like you may have done wrong or made a mistake or, you know, pushed him when he may have needed that space because you've learned now to give him that space, it's triggered his awakening. So he is grateful for that push that you've given him to change his life. And he's saying thank you. He's saying you will soon see the light at the end of the tunnel. So he's grateful that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Now that light is actually you. You're his home, you know, you're his truth. You're like that lighthouse that shines bright. So you're his guide, you're his new. So he's grateful for your light in his life. And he's grateful that he's moving towards the end of the tunnel. That he's starting to see that there is a way out of his situation. And he may jump in a cab or jump in a car or get on his motorbike to come to you. He's grateful for clarity. He may also be grateful for crystals if, you know, he loves to use crystals or he's connected with crystals. But he's grateful right now for the clarity that's coming in because it's helping him to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And he's also grateful for time and space and room that he has to process. Look at this. He's grateful for union. So he's thinking about you and he's thinking about being with you and he's already grateful for the union that you guys share that you will have in the future the commitment so he's grateful for you and he's showing you here that you will be his wife you know or you'll be married or you know you'll have that kind of commitment with your twin and he's also grateful for any previous marriages or previous love relationships because they have taught him where he needed to learn to be in union with you so he's grateful for the union he has with you and remember this is an inner union and it's an energetic union before it becomes a physical union so he's grateful for you and i really do feel a commitment coming in here we've got the ten of gabriel so he's grateful for help okay this is a card always reminds me of cinderella you know trying to do everything by herself when she's got a guardian angel or you know the fairy godmother right there hovering over it so she's grateful in this card that she has, you know, help from above. And I feel that it says, ask your angels for help for people to lighten your load. I feel your master is grateful because he's starting to lighten the load. He's starting to feel the burden slipping away because that light is at the end of the tunnel. So it's like he's saying to you, I'm about to end a tough cycle and I'm moving to the end now of this cycle. I'm moving to the end of this kind of process so he's showing you again it's moving closer to union than ever before working too many hours so he may be working hard but he is grateful for the job he has or you know the ability to make money you know so even though he is working a bit too hard right now or he's putting time and effort into something and he may be driving him a bit crazy he is grateful that he has that job or he has that work to do trying too hard to please others so he is trying to please others but he's grateful for the fact that he's learning not to okay he's learning to give back to himself so these are all the lessons he's learning so he's learning to be grateful or he is grateful for all the people who've helped him along the way and that's a very powerful energy that came out today i think it was in the members reading as well he's being grateful for all the people who've helped him along the way I'm making the adjustments required to change my life. So he's grateful for this time to process everything. <clears throat> and they're giving me again a block in the throat chakra. So it's like he's saying to you, thank you for not pushing me. Thank you for not forcing me or creating pressure. Thank you for giving me the time and the space and for trusting me to find my way. To make the adjustments I'm required to make to change my life. So he's feeling grateful for that. And we've got energizing. So he's grateful for energy. It says focus on generating positive energy. So he's also grateful that he's a lot more positive now than he was before. They give me fear. You know, even when he goes into fear, he does try and pull himself out of that. 
So he's grateful for positive thinking and he gets that from you. You know, give me a lot of fear there. So he's releasing this fear to energize the connection he has with you and the connection he has with himself. So he's feeling grateful for energy, for feeling better. You know, I feel that in his karmic situation or in his life, he's been very kind of subdued or he's been a shadow of his former self. So he's grateful he's getting his energy back. He's feeling better as he's moving towards the new year. And he's saying, I'm not running from you. I'm running from myself. Isn't it silly? So he's also grateful that he's now starting to see the funny side of things and how silly he's been. You know, and he's grateful for that because it's also helping him to understand that it's not right to run from you. And that he has been running from himself. So I want to bring in as well, the guided me to actually bring in Georgie's deck too. I love this deck. Okay, so... What else is he grateful for? Why don't we jump straight out there? So he's grateful for looking. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm feeling. It's really powerful because, you know, when I was talking about this card here, okay, the light at the end of the tunnel, about to end a tough cycle, this is exactly the energy I was feeling. I'm about to end a tough cycle. And this is exactly the card that popped in my head. So he's really saying to you, thank you for giving me the space now I need to move towards our union. Thank you for allowing me to do it in my own way. I promise you union. So this is your masculine saying to you, I promise you union. And this is the angel saying to you, all the relaxation you've started doing about it, the letting go, the surrender, the breath work, the meditation, the healing, everything you've been doing and working on divine feminine, it's been deposited into that kind of energetic bank account. And it's going to all get, be given back to you. So it's like he's saying to you, I promise you the world because you've given me the world, which means time and space to gain clarity and to understand what I need to do. And I am about to end a tough cycle because the light is at the end of the tunnel so that I can be with you. Because I know now I'm not running from you. I'm running from me. Isn't that silly? So I'm adjusting my life accordingly and asking for help. Very powerful. Love it. So, you know, it could just get in a cab to you or, you know, his car and move towards you. And I am, they are showing me like airports, like getting off a plane and getting in a taxi cab and coming to you. So movement and change. Very powerful. I hope this helps any lots of love. Wow. Pile two, we've got the wishing well. Very powerful because make a wish. It's going to come true. Okay, anything you're asking for, you're manifesting right now. So I feel that your divine masculine is grateful for you because you are a wish come true. That's the way he sees you. Wow, I made a wish and he or she appeared. So this is about the future, you know, and the well is also about filling up your own cup. So I feel he's been doing a lot of work on himself to fill up his own cup. He's saying to you, I'm planning how we can get away. So he's grateful for time to think. And time to process and time to plot and plan and plan how we can get away. So he's finding time to do that. You know, this is what happens when they go silent because they're processing. But I feel whatever he's doing in his life, he's grateful for the time he has to visualize. That could even be when he's at work. You know, when you're working and you go miles away. When he's miles away in his mind, he's actually planning how you can get away. So he's thinking about this. He may also be grateful for the new year where he's got time off work, where he can do this or money where he can make things happen. So he's grateful for time to think. He said, I'm going over and over in my head the things I've done and it pains me. So he's also grateful for that pain because it's showing him what he needs to change and what he needs to do and what he needs to alter to be able to be with you. And again, they're giving me the word alter connected with commitment, you know, like going up the aisle and getting married. So he's saying, I'm grateful for the pain I feel because it makes me realize what I've done, how I've hurt you, how I've really hurt myself and how I've affected our lives. So he's grateful for the pain because he's healed it. He's grateful for understanding. So he's saying to you, thank you for being understanding. Thank you for giving me time. Thank you for allowing me the room I need to process. So again, very similar and in a line with pile number one. And, you know, the messages are very similar anyway, because it's collective energy. Everyone has their own unique lens. So 
He's grateful that he can see it from his own point of view, finally. That he's finally starting to make sense of what's going on around him. That he's finally starting to see and understand and gain insight. He's saying, when I make a decision, things happen quickly. And he is proud of himself for that, that, you know, he may take a long time to work it out. And he may procrastinate a little bit, but when he actually does make a decision, he does follow through on it. And it will happen quickly. So he's grateful for this time he's got to process it all and work it out so he can make a decision. He's saying to you, I miss you all the time. And this is what you're sending to him. So he's grateful that you do miss him and want him. He's grateful that you feel connected to each other always, that you have that powerful bond. And he's grateful for the time that you've shared, the time you've spent together, whether that's virtually or physically. He's grateful for that. And he's saying, I miss you too. Okay, I miss you too, but it's also helping me to gain clarity and realize just what I've done. I, you are ready to express your truth. So he's grateful that he's becoming ready, that he's able to speak and get his feelings out and show you how he cares. And it's all because he's asked for help. He's made a wish and you appeared. So he's starting to surrender. He's starting to see beauty around him in his day. So he's grateful for a new beginning. That's what I'm feeling. He's got his arms up. He's grateful for a new beginning. Another chance with you. A fresh start. And false experiences appearing to be real. The fear he's been through has actually illuminated his truth. So he is grateful for everything he feels and experiences. Because it shines a light on what he needs to heal. And it shines a light on what he needs to change. And you know, you've been that light too. Because you've made him face his biggest fears as his mirror. He said, I'm grateful for the cross I've been bearing because now I know I can let it go. I can put those burdens down. I can heal. You know, when Jesus was carrying the cross and he was carrying all of the world's sins on his shoulders with that cross. When he got to where he was crucified, he was grateful because the cross had gone off his back. And he knew he was moving towards, you know... A higher understanding or he's moving towards paradise so he's grateful that he can put down his burdens that he can feel free at last free at last that's the word they're giving me for michael insights that come from quiet meditation so i really am feeling that your master is grateful for the time he's got right now to be able to go within visualize you know get plans in place sort things out and gain insight from quiet times or quiet meditation so he may be meditating but he's grateful he's got time and he may go outdoors to have that time he may sit on the loo he may go in a shed he may drive around but however he's getting that time even if he's at work and he's miles away he has that time to process the need for more sleep or time off seek relief from stress so he's grateful that he's realizing he's being very stressed out He's grateful that all of these things have happened to him because it's made him open his heart and see the truth. It's opened him up to what he needs to change in his life and he knows he needs to get more sleep to have time off and he's grateful for that insight. So, you know, this could also be sleep patterns being affected right now because he's having crazy dreams, vivid dreams. He may be connecting with you in dreams, but I feel it's more he's planning in his dreams and working things out and finding solutions. And I'm going to bring in Georgie's deck too. So what's your masculine grateful for? I find it hard to show emotion. So he's grateful that you understand him. And I love that because we've got understanding. So words aren't needed within your connection. It's felt. And he's grateful that you understand him anyway because he's saying to you, I find it hard to show my emotion. Yet he's saying, I'm so grateful now because I'm getting ready to show it to you. I'm getting ready to express this truth. We've got dance with me. So he's also grateful that you're going with the flow now. That there's no pressure, that you're relaxing about it all. He's grateful that you fit together like a hand in a glove. That you dance together, that your bodies move together. You know, maybe he's grateful for being able to dance with you. If that's your thing, maybe you've been dancing energetically on the 5D realm or, you know, connecting. But he's saying, I'm grateful, I'm grateful that I can dance with this journey that you know, you're not going to give up on me and that you understand me even when I can't show my emotion.
So another message here saying, give me time. I know what I need to do. I miss you too. But when I make a decision, things will happen quickly. So really what he's asking is for you to give him time. Very powerful. I hope that helps, okay? Pile three, we've got the letterbox. Very powerful. So this is connected with communication, telephones, cell phones, you know, Wi-Fi, the internet. So I feel this is a big message about communication coming in. So he's actually grateful that, you know, the technology is there to be able to communicate with you. And I am feeling that, you know, even if he's a young guy, you know, and he's grown up with mobile phones and, you know, not the old style telephone boxes, this will really resonate more with, you know, my age and the older generation because this is what we had. We didn't have mobile phones growing up or anything like that. But what I feel is whatever age he is, he's grateful for technology because it means he can connect with you in any way, you know, you can. So he can connect with you online. He can connect with you on social media. He can connect with you through his cell phone. He can connect with you through message. He can connect with you. You know, he hasn't got to go to a phone box to ring you up. He hasn't got to write you a telegram like back in the olden days. He's grateful for communication. And you may already be in communication or you may have a strong telepathic link. So he's grateful for that. And he's saying to you, I will see you again. He's grateful for that. He's grateful that you're going to be together. He's grateful that he can see you online or he can connect with you in his mind. And he's saying, we will be together. I will see you again. So he's grateful for that today. And we've got stillness and he's grateful for the quiet time to process. Now, again, this is very powerful. So even though I've done three separate piles, the message is pretty much the same in all piles that he is needing this time. He's grateful for it. He's grateful for the stillness, the silence. So he can process, not just silence with you. Okay, silent times where he can think it's like you know that when that quiet stillness comes over so people aren't shouting at him or getting at him in his physical world you know when me and george need quiet time he goes upstairs i go in the living room we do our own thing that's stillness you know me watching my show george playing his game is stillness you know because we have time by ourselves to process and heal and love ourselves and i feel that's what he's saying to you says, breathe deeply and observe the present moment. So he's grateful for the now. He's grateful for the present moment. He's grateful that he has breath in his body. He's grateful for his life. He's grateful that he can breathe. So maybe he's been dealing with some, you know, lung issues or, you know, he's given up smoking or there's been something affecting his airways or his breathing. He's grateful he's still got life. He's grateful for life itself. They're giving me fear. He's grateful. He's saying to you, the weight of my life is on my mind and I'm struggling to sleep. I need peace. So he's grateful that when he falls asleep, he finds peace. Or he's grateful that even when he's lying awake at night with the weight of his life on his mind, because he knows he needs to change things, he's still grateful for that stillness. The still of the night. There's a song in the still of the night. And that's from Dirty Dancy. So I feel he's grateful for quietness. The age gap makes me anxious, but doesn't turn me away. So if there's an age gap between you, he's actually grateful for that because he knows that you are mature and know what you want. Even if it makes him a bit anxious because of judgment or what people will think, he doesn't turn him away. He's saying to you, I'm grateful because you are a strong, independent person. You are mature spiritually. You know what you want. You know who you are. Remember, if there isn't an age gap, there will be some form of spiritual gap or something else. Even if there's a country divide or something, he's kind of grateful for the time that he has to process. So that will be working for the connection. You drive me wild. And this is how you feel about him. But I feel he's saying to you, I love that, you know, you tap me in with my primal self. You tune me in with who I am and you know, I feel elated when I'm with you. I feel ecstasy when I connect with you. So you tap him in with his wild side and he's grateful for that. You know, he's grateful for the passion and desire and fire he has when he thinks about you. He's grateful because he may not get that in any area of his life now. So when he connects with you, you drive him wild, but he's grateful for that. You are perfect for me. 
And this is you saying this to him. These are divine feminine messages. But he's saying, and you are perfect for me. He's grateful that you are perfect for him, that you were designed perfectly for him. Everything about you, he's grateful for all of you. And he wants you to know that. I hear the songs you send me. So he's sending songs to you telepathically. And again, he's grateful for that. He's sending songs to you on the radio or however he's communicating them to you. And he's grateful for the technology to do that. So I feel the big thing that your masculine is grateful for here, apart from the stillness to process, is technology to be able to connect with you. Come back to me. He's grateful that you still want it. He's grateful that you would even say, come back to me. He's grateful that he gets another chance with you. He's grateful that you give him time of day. And the start of a new chapter is about to begin. He's grateful for a new year. He's grateful for the world and the changes going on. He may be a guitarist or he may have, you know, musical roots or some form of music here. Again, he's, thank you, he's grateful for music because he can send that to you. But he's grateful. This is like him standing on the top of a building on New Year's Eve looking out and thinking, wow, so much now to be grateful for. So many things to look forward to. And that's what he sees with you. And he knows that everything else is illusion. And he's grateful for the full moon we've just had because it's opened him up to his truth. And he's grateful for reflection and time to do that. Look at this communication. There it is. That's exactly what he's grateful for. He's grateful that he can communicate with you, not just physically through, you know, a phone or a message, but through telepathy and dreams and music. He's so grateful for you. And if you are in communication, he's grateful for that. He's grateful that he's feeling better. He's feeling rejuvenated. He's feeling excited because he's getting closer to his goal, closer to you, to his mission. So he's feeling much better. He's feeling grateful for a brand new day. And Archangel Raphael is bringing healing in, a positive new emotional experience. So he's grateful for all the emotions he's feeling, all these new sensations connected with you. That he hasn't really experienced with anybody else because you're his twin. Fulfilling romantic relationships. So he feels grateful that with you, he feels fulfilled. He feels satisfied with you. He feels ready. Deep and lasting spiritual insight. So he's grateful for the deepness of the connection and that it's getting deeper and deeper and that it's a long lasting love and that it's spiritual and all the interesting aspects of it. He's excited. He's grateful for that. And he's grateful that he's taking back his power to move this forward. So he's grateful. He's grateful for all things. And he's saying, this is really powerful. This card came out in another reading. Okay. I see the light at the end of the tunnel and I know that better times are ahead. And I think this came out in power one as well. Okay, The angels take it away when I'm doing the readings. Okay, Yeah, it was power number one as well. So again, all piles interlinking. I see the light at the end of the tunnel and I know that better times are ahead. So he's grateful for the new year. And that's what I'm really feeling with the world's energy. You know, he's grateful for everything that's going on in the world because he's woke him up to the truth. So I'm going to bring George's deck in as well. What's he grateful for? I had to walk away. So he's grateful for the time that you've had apart because it's grown him so much. You know, I had to walk away. I had to understand. So he's asked, saying to you pretty much, thank you for allowing me the stillness I needed to do that. I had to walk away to learn. And that if you think my journey is easy, then you were wrong. So he's saying, I'm grateful that my journey is painful and hard because he's teaching me so much and it's not easy for me. And I'm grateful that you understand. So communication coming in here, if it isn't already, you know, strong telepathic link 5D connection right now anyway, but magic is coming in. But it's like he's saying to you because of his situation or his circumstances or whatever else is going on in his life. I'm grateful for the technology that I can see you online, maybe spy on you a little bit, you know, connect with you through, you know, the, the online energy because there may be distance in the way or something not allowing him to be able to be physically with you. You know, it could be a celebrity and this may be the way he connects with you through social media, you know, giving you those kind of prompts that, yes, that's for me, you know, or you know, if he isn't a celebrity, if he's 
you know, sharing something on social media or somehow he's connecting with you and letting you know how he feels. So big message here of, you know, power and he's saying thank you to technology. So powerful. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.